Hi friends, Mr. Kevin here with the Children's Museum of the Low Country in Charleston, South Carolina. And this morning I heard a lot of little birds chirping outside my window. So I wanted to read this book that has a lot of different birds in it. It's called Feathers for Lunch by Lois L. Hurt. The cat is looking out the window and it sees the little bird. I think that little bird might be in trouble. Uh-oh, doors left open. Just a crack. Somebody got out. My cat is out and he won't come back. He's looking for lunch. Something new. A spicy treat for today's menu. There's a blue bird. His food in a can is tame and mild. Blech. He does not like that. There's a bright red cardinal. So he's gone out for something wild. There are so many birds in this yard. There's two more. He's snooping and sneaking. Those birds sure look good. There's a woodpecker. If he could catch one, he'd eat it. He would. But when his bell jingles, birds call a loud warning. Big cat got out this morning. But cats can't fly and cats can't soar. And the birds know what their wings are for. So whenever they hear the jingle bell on the cat's collar, all the birds know that it's time to fly away, quick. So he keeps prowling, hoping to munch. But all he catches are feathers for lunch. And look, his person came to take him back inside so all the little birdies could be safe and he could eat his cat food. So next time you go outside on a walk, see what kind of birds you can find in your yard. You can see what colors they are, and they might be bigger or smaller, or they might be doing different things, like pecking a tree or flying or digging for worms. Thanks for listening.